Let's build an aerated static pile system. So this is a system that uh, doesn't require mechanical or manual compost turning. Uh, this is a forced air system. It introduces oxygen to the pile so that you don't have to. Um, it's a low labor uh, approach to composting, which after a summer of turning a compost pile with pitchfork with my own back, um, I was so excited for this. So this is all found objects um, nothing was purchased here so we have a Stanley floor dryer in the lower right hand corner it goes into a manifold my dad built uh, then we have six inch pipes those white pipes they are plugged at the end uh, and they feed into a four inch pipes that go out about 11 feet and they are supported by cinder blocks so this is a 12 by 12 foot pad uh, within the perimeters of the straw bales we have a nine by nine foot uh, footprint for composting. So we had to miter out the straw bales. Um, straw bales came from Dave Albert from Misty Mountain Farm, who has been a fast friend and eager supporter. And I'm so grateful for everything he's done for me so far. Um, but here you can see the final assembly. So I got, it, got the blower covered up uh, to protect it from rain and drip. Uh, so in the, if you can see in that top right hand corner, I have compost, finished compost there, I'm trying desperately to keep it from getting too wet, but ultimately, you know, it was a wet spring. So the idea was sift it, um, and then I can sell the finer material, which was finished, and the overs, uh, which come out the end of this soil sifter, which I got from Better Built Corporation. Uh, it's a great sifter. I am super happy with how it performed this day. Uh, the material was kind of wet, but it worked great. Um, the overs were filled in around the cinder blocks and the pipes, uh, overs being the chunky material, and uh, for the air to uh, course through that better. <laughs> That's the real-time footage of using the soil sifter. Um, this worked great. I was really happy with it. Uh, the uh, the motor does bog down a little bit when some of the wet material hits it, but I powered through. It was fine, um, and we made uh, quick work of of a pile that seemed to take forever to get through. Um, it seems like the smaller the pile gets, the longer it takes to finish it. I don't know uh, what Albert Einstein would think about that theory, but that's that's my theory. Anyway, um, so this was a pretty perfect amount of overs to fill in exactly what we needed uh, around the center blocks and the pipes for the uh, for the base, and uh, it's just a nice chunky material, and it'll all break down eventually. Just the big stuff is nice to have for the oxygen. So here you can see the pipes sticking out the end. Um, the holes in the pipes are about one foot staggered and they are three quarters inch to five eighths inch um, in, in size. They are drilled at the eight o'clock and four o'clock position to prevent uh, debris from falling down into the pipes and plugging and causing problems. Um, so we were ready for more straw bales and uh, I headed out to Dave's farm, loaded up some bales and uh, got some food scraps dumped in here with uh, some carbon and I fired up the blower after some some heavy rains and I was so happy I don't know if you can see the, the steam kind of off center in this in the screen there but this thing works and I was so happy and so relieved um, giddy might be an overstatement but I, th I was almost giddy I think I was almost giddy and the compost pile is around 1.30 at this point. Um, but just seeing the steam coming out of it, I was pretty happy. So, there you have it.